Welcome to another unit in this course on social network analytics. This time I'm going to talk about the so-called page rank algorithm or the page rank scores. And that's just a slightly different version to the eigenvalue centrality. However, it's the most commonly used version of the eigenvalue centrality because it's more or less the core idea behind Google's page ranking. That's also where the name in some part comes from. And well, what's the difference to eigenvalue centrality as such? Well, it's just the normalized eigenvalue centrality. And what is being normalized is the adjacency matrix. So what we are going to do is we replace the original adjacency matrix A with the normalized version, which we just call N. And in this case, we simply replace each one we have in our adjacency matrix. Here in this case, we assume that the adjacency matrix only takes a one or a zero. We replace each one by the out degree of the corresponding node. So we more or less normalize in this situation the corresponding row. Everything which was zero, we leave as is. Then when we have this new matrix, this new adjacency matrix N, we simply proceed as we know from calculation of the eigenvalue centrality. So we basically here use this formula we already know from eigenvalue centrality. In other words, the page rank of a node X, PX, is equal to a weighted average of the page ranks of all the other nodes. There's only one slight difference in this formula as compared to eigenvalue centrality. And that's the fact that here we only have the sum. We do not have this part 1 divided by lambda as we had with the eigenvector centrality. That's due to the fact that if we use the normalized adjacency matrix, the largest eigenvalue would be 1. So this factor actually becomes 1. So in this context, this is more or less eigenvalue centrality, but for the normalized version, which also leads to the largest eigenvalue uh, becoming one. Well, in this case, the same problems we have with eigenvector centrality calculation apply here as well. So it's a lot of work, which is pretty hard to be done by hand, especially for larger networks. And for this reason, we're going to use Gethfi as a computer program for doing it for us. So I switch to Gephi, to my data sets, which I have here. First of the larger data set, undirected network, and a smaller data set here, directed network. Let's start with the undirected version. If you want to use this to calculate the page rank, simply go to statistics. And here, the second to last part of network overview already states page rank. So you can simply click here, give some additional information. It also has the advantage as compared to the formula I've shown before, that it can work on the basis of edge weights. So that's a slightly different version. Here I'm using the normal version. Then I get my distribution for this page rank. And I get in my node list back here my page rank. In this context, I can see it's closely linked to the eigenvector and authority scores, but not perfectly so. So in this case, for example, the second one has a relatively small eigenvector centrality, a relatively small authority score, but the second highest page rank. And in this case, this is the important aspect. This means that even though it works 
like eigenvector centrality. It could get slightly different results. The idea is the same. It's still about determining which of the nodes is the most more important one by knowing other important nodes. But this could also be slightly different because now, due to the normalization, we're considering more or less something like a relative importance as compared to the absolute importance with the eigenvector centrality. Well, let's, before we switch to the other example, also try out the version with the edge weights. So click this here. Results look more or less similar to the things before. And even the values here are more or less the same, are slightly larger. So we get more or less similar results. They do not really change a lot. However, they now take into account the weight of different edges due to the fact that they are not really so different in this context. We do not get very different results. Well, that's done. The result for the undirected network. Let's also do this for a smaller directed network. So here I can run this. I'm not using the edge weight. Get my normal results and in my data table. So I get these results here. As compared to the eigenvector centrality or as with the eigenvector centrality and the hub and authority scores, it's not necessarily, as we can see here, normalized in this way that I have a zero and a one, but they are all between zero and one. And well, again, it's similar, even though not perfectly so, to eigenvector centrality or authority score. If I keep in mind, it's like 0 0.13, 0 0.24, 0 0.23, 0 0.42. And I now use here the edge weight version. Again, the results are slightly larger. And, and that's the interesting thing, in the middle part, I see some changes happening. Of course, here I had slightly different results before. So this means that if I consider weights, it actually makes a lot of sense to consider again whether the order actually got changed as well. Why the weights actually come into play this strongly here, we can see if we go back to the degree, here we have the normal degree centrality and the weighted degree centrality. And we see for the first one, there's actually no difference here. The second one is slightly larger. The third one is slightly smaller. And that's basically the result we get here. The second one, the page rank is slightly larger. The third one, the page rank is slightly smaller. That's basically what we got, or what we can also see here in this context. And well, that's then everything I wanted to mention in regard to the page rank, in regard to calculation and interpretation of the page rank. So I hope you enjoyed this short session. I say goodbye and see you next time.